Hello everybody, this is Locke, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure MC Dots, which is a plugin that allows you to print custom messages to your users. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download MC Docs and Vault. You need Vault for MC Docs. You're going to get this MC Docs folder, open your config file with Notepad++, I've got it over here, and uh, that's your first step. Now, what all of these are are the slash commands that MC Docs is going to manage. So if you're happy with like your modded, your slash about, and your slash help, we can leave this alone. So delete everything here but the rules one. So there we go, slash rules, and we're going to change this to slash information. So now we've got a command that when any user types slash information, it's going to read the file called information. There we go, make sure it's spelled correctly. So now we've got a slash information command added correctly. Now we're just going to disable some other settings, so modded enabled, if you don't want this plugin to manage your message of the day, set that to false. If you don't want them to manage, like, saying what it, the message it prints to the screen when a user joins, set this to false. And that's all we're going to need to change. So we're going to hit save for now, close this. Now in this same folder, new text file, text document, and we're going to call it information, because that's what we put under file right here so make sure it matches exactly information.txt and oop didn't mean to do that <laughs> my bad back to testing server plugins mc docs there we go information now this is what it's going to print to the user screen so we could write hi i am nate right there we go simple message and that's what it's going to print when it's a, when someone types slash information but we can get a little more in depth so say we want that message to be red we can do bracket color equals red hi nate and then slash color and anything after this won't have that color but say we wanted to say hello to the player's name you do a percentage sign and then name and there are lots of these little custom inserts like you can do like server name i think you can do time there's a lot of different ones and they'll, they're all on the mc docs page so are all the colors and there's bold there's underline and you can set all that up it's fairly simple so if, that'll be all on the MC Docs page. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to create this information thing. So color will do red. I like red. It's going to say here is the server info. And then we'll do slash color. There we go. Now let's say we want this part of the message to be blue. So color is equal to blue. There we are. I'm going to type this is a fun server. Comma. That is all at name. So that's all whatever their Minecraft user is, and the color. So there we go, that's our information file. So we're gonna hit save on that. We're going to open up our, um, whatever this is, command prompt, and we're gonna reload the server. Now I'm gonna log into Minecraft, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So let's just run this. It's gonna take a second to open up. All right guys, one more thing before we go into Minecraft. You're also going to need PEX to manage this, or any other permissions manager, group manager, be permissions, whatever you like. And that is because you have to give people permission to use the command you've set up. So I've just got the default PEX file. I've added mcdocs.command and then the name of the command that you specified. So ours is called information. So fairly simple. We're just going to do save. And to make sure I'm in this group, let me just add a prefix real quick. Um, we'll do run. Just whatever. Random shit. All right. So we're going to save that. We're going to reload our server. And then we're going to go into the game and uh, we'll show you how it works. All right, here we are in game. So one thing I forgot, I, I said I added a prefix, but you also need a chat manager um, for prefixes to show up, like essentials chat here, chat, something like that. And uh, what the hell, I've n I haven't played default Minecraft in forever. Uh, not the point. So now if we just type slash information, it's gonna say, here's the server info. This is a fun server. That is all, and then my name. So it's pretty simple to set up. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.